can change. We'll have to see, and we'll definitely be keeping you guys updated on that. Um, so you said we we're going to touch on this later. So Malik Beasley, he's he's is he your guy? What do you what do you got? I, I, you know, Malik last year we um we got him in that four team trade with the twelve players that humongous trade that sent like Robert Covington to Houston, uh, Clint Capella to Atlanta. We got um a couple players from Denver. We got Malik Beasley and Wancho, both of which started for us last year, and um. Malik Beasley through four for before COVID stopped the season. Um, his 14 games with the Timberwolves, he averaged 20.4 points on um, over 50% shooting from the field. And like, I think it was 43% from the three point line. I um, think, um, I think that's an absolute steal. It's one of those nuggets players that kind of got lost in the rotation and um, signing him and locking him up because the Timberwolves, let's be honest, they need shooters. Um, their philosophy is they they want to shoot the most they want to shoot more threes than you and drive more. They hate the mid range shot. So I mean, we took we took we were top three in threes taken, but we were almost last in the league in threes made. <laughs> so I think it having a shooter, <laughs> having a shooter, I think that's the most Timberwolves stat ever. But having a shooter like him is essential. So I'm really happy we locked him up for four years. Great, yeah, seriously, and I mean. I, I like to judge players off of how they play in 2K, and he's he's a how many he had a he had a game last year where he made a ton of threes, didn't he? Like yeah, it was, uh, it was the it was I think it was the Clippers game. Like that was the game where everyone was really excited to see the T Wolves because it was basically a brand new team, and they just aired out the Clippers. I think I think they won. They scored in the 140s and they won by like 30. And Malik Beasley was a huge part of that because he was just draining three after three. So I mean, I was really excited. Yeah, I think that he's kind of he's pretty young too. So it's kind of like he's a player that ha- that people don't he hasn't really reached his full potential yet. So I think locking him down for that four years, and that he it was pretty it wasn't that expensive of a player to get. In this no, position. I mean fifteen million for a player who's going to be our you know starting shooting guard and one of our main scoring options this year. That's completely fine. Exactly. So I'm I'm super happy about that, but um. The thing that some people are just kind of questioning about him is his uh, – he's got some interesting legal issues. What do you uh, What do you guys say about that? Yeah, so, I mean, um, Malik Beasley over the, uh, over the um, offseason was caught pointing a gun at a family. If anyone knows what the Festival of Houses is, it's where um, people can go check out some of these houses up for sale. And uh, a family in um, – I, be, I don't know exactly what city it is. I, I want to say Prior Lake, but I don't think it is. Um, you can look that up. But he uh, there was a family that tried to come up to his door, and he pointed a weapon at them, telling them to get off the property. But they were just confused because they thought his home was a uh, – they thought it was a uh, house, part of the festival. So that was a uh, felony charge, and I think they found a small amount of weed in the house too. So I think um, – you know, it's. I, I hope it's just one mental lapse. Um, you know, he he seems a lot, but he deleted all his Instagram stuff because he was getting a lot of hate. But you know, after Minnesota signed him to that uh, four year extension, he he posted Minnesota turned me up. So I think he's ready. I think he's good to go. His head's clear. Um. Yeah, and I think it kind of shows a lot about the organization and what our stance is or not our stance, what their stance is on, on Malik. If we're willing to, if we're willing to look past that and we're like, we're willing to bet that that was just a mental lapse with him, that he's not like that. He's actually a good guy. And the Timberwolves know that best. We, they've been working with him all off season. So if they're willing, and that's the best thing that they could do for the player is offer him a long-term deal. Be like, you know what? We stand with you. We understand you made a mistake. You realize you made a mistake and, we trust you, so let's move on. Let's just – you got we got you for four years. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah, and I think the process was really cool in, in which they did it. They, um, you know, gave him a Twins jersey, a um, Minnesota Vikings jersey, and uh, Gerson and some other players from Minnesota sports were there. And, you know, they welcomed him with open arms. And, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. I, one of the guys who um, – wanted him to stay really bad was Nelson Cruz. So Nelson Cruz talked with him for the day and, you know, went through some of his mistakes and stuff. And I, I think that was definitely a big factor in him wanting to stay. So that's awesome by some of the Minnesota sports guys. Classic dude. Minnesota sports is just on a different level. We might, we might not be the, um, we might not be the best winning uh, 
state for sports, but we're such, we just have a great community, great environment. Everyone loves Minnesota sports. Yeah, very wholesome for sure. Yeah, and especially for Malik last year when he came to the Timberwolves, he never really got that welcome. So I think this is a, a good, fresh start for him, and hopefully he's just going to make a, a huge impact on our team this year and be that third option until Edwards can come. It's perfect. It's literally the perfect spot having him and Edwards because they can they can both kind of work together and Edwards can kind of play behind him and just learn the ropes. Yeah, man, it's going to be, we're going to be a, you know, even if we don't play the most defense this year, I think this, this is one of those teams that are going to win some 150 game shootouts and it's going to be some fun basketball to watch. Oh, for sure. Another thing talking about Minnesota sports, 